you didn't even go to the funeral. Like, people were asking me about you and I had to lie to make you not look like an asshole who skipped out on our best friend's funeral. That really sucked. Wow, this is all real? It's so complex, I can't look away. So when I'm performing, my character will capture my arm movements, but not my facial expressions? Okay, gotcha. Voice, arms. Ah, the emotional stakes of the thing. This other guy's been dragged along for, what, six episodes by someone who clearly cannot open up, and there's this emotional history between them. I can use this. Rob Winnick waking you up for your very special episode of Steel Town Gaming! Rance, put a shirt on and come join me! Rance! 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 So when's Calvin showing up? What? I mean, is he ready to be mic'd up? Is he on his way? Rance, Calvin left the show. What? When? During our... What the fuck? How do you not know this? I I thought he was going to join us today. This is honestly the first I'm hearing about this. No, he stormed off during the pool party. You were there. You were operating the live stream. Oh, yeah. That was weird. <sighs> What was all this stuff he was saying about his funeral? You didn't go to his funeral or something? No, our friend's funeral. From Rance, why would Calvin have a funeral? What are you talking about? I don't know. He seemed upset. Who knows what was going on, but I didn't think he was going to leave the show. Okay, let's pick up this conversation another time, all right? We don't need to be talking about this. This is stupid. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, whatever's good for the show. I'm just happy to help. It's getting character. All right, crack open that VR chat, put on your headset, and honestly, oh, I don't want to give anything away. So just be ready for anything. All right, sounds good. Oh, and Rance, when you get there, look for Natalia. Will do. Hey. Did you want to talk about the whole Calvin thing at all? Because I'm here if you do. No. VR chat. Create, share, and form lasting friendships. Welcome to VR chat. you guys up to? Ugh, so many fucking furries here today. I think the rest of us normal people are going to a place where you can draw stuff. I see. Uh, so I'm here on a bit of a mission. Do you know where someone named Natalia would be? Ah, oh, jeez. You're not one of them, are you? 
What, Natalia? Is that the name of some squirrel with big tits? You fucking furries. I swear to God. A furry? No, I'm just... Uh, I don't really know what's going on. All right, well, have fun, fucking pervert. Hello, fair stranger. Hello? How do I... Oh, oh, hey. Sup? I don't know what's this sap. Is this how you introduce self to high society Russian heiress? Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm Rance. What's your name? You ask too many questions. Who wanting to know my name? Buy me drink first, American boy. Uh, is there money in this game? I don't know how to buy stuff yet. We have word for persons like you, Mr. Renz, who treat the courting of beautiful women like game to be won. We call you Stilyagi Matroshka. I see. You raise much suspicion. What brings you to- Wait, sorry, my, my thing's on weird. Is I was saying, what brings you to Pejitnov nightclub? Oftentimes people come here looking for somebody. Uh, I'm actually playing a game with my friend, just waiting for the other player to show up, or something like that. What about you? What's your avatar supposed to be? I know not this avatar which you speak. I hear as self looking for men, U.S. is air considered dangerous foreign agent. Cool. Listen, I gotta go, but uh, have a good, have a good weekend. Mr. Renz! He just keeps blocking me. This guy is a wall. I think he might be a genius. You again? We seem destined to keep meeting each other in this disco music club. Did you follow me over here? Charm me, Mr. Hans. You say you want to know my name. A man like you must know exactly who to be with favored, beautiful women. With women? Uh. Yeah, it's kind of a long story, though. I am a good listener, Mr. Rance. One might even say I listen in on things for a living. Oh, yeah? Well, okay. Uh, so back in high school, there was this one woman at Anime Club, and she seemed nice, so I was waiting for my friend to introduce us. Then this one week, apparently only three people showed up, and they all decided to watch hentai together. One of the custodians ended up catching them. It's this big thing, it even made the school paper. Do you watch anime? That's kind of my thing. Is this your first time on VR chat? This is fun. Mr. Renz. Who is other person you're meeting here at Pajitnov nightclub? This place welcomes folks from all walk of life. Casino owners, government parasites, Foreign agents? Maybe you find who you're looking for. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be looking for someone here. Well, what's her name? Perhaps I, Natalia Simanova, might assist. Oh, too funny. I'm supposed to find someone named Natalia. Yes? Natalia, you say? Yep, my friend Rob told me loud and clear. Go find Natalia! So random. He's funny like that.
<laughs> How's it going so far? Looks like Rance could be a pretty difficult scene partner, huh? When I was 17 years old, I had my first paid gig in a production of Streetcar at the Quantic Theater in Toronto. I shared a few scenes with someone named Leon Waxman, a 75-year-old performer from the rugged days of Canadian theater. You might know him from some of his commercial work. Now, at the time, I was a technique-heavy young player who overcalculated every motivation and gave wooden and saturated performances, but... Leon. Now that man was present. When he looked at you in the middle of a scene, it felt like God himself was coming to kill your firstborn child. It commanded attention. Now we're doing a show for preview and to say that Leon never gave the same performance twice is a grotesque understatement and perhaps an affront to language itself. With Leon in the cast, you were never acting in the same play twice. We're at the scene where Blanche interrupts Stanley's poker game. Leon is playing Stanley Kowalski, of course, and that night, Leon, he wasn't getting much out of the actress playing Blanche, so he decides to throw the poker table clean off the stage, totally improvised, to create that raw fear, that kind of destruction that theater critics are hungry for, those carnal bastards. And in that heated moment, when Stanley Kowalski overtook him, Leon forgot that someone in the cast suffered from motion sickness. So all of the stage furniture had been nailed down by the crew the night before. The guy dislocates both of his shoulders and falls to the floor. And this motherfucker keeps going. He keeps going. Our producer had to run out on stage and stop the show, and paramedics practically wrestled him into the ambulance to bring him to emerge. And I swear to God, that night at Toronto General, he was so present still so in character that his heart rate wouldn't go down and nurses couldn't get an IV in his fucking arm without blood spraying everywhere. He died two weeks later from complications. If I'm not pushing a scene to its absolute limit, performatively, creatively, then what the fuck is this all for? If I ever give a bad line read, you have my expressed permission to put a fucking bullet in my head. And don't you dare hesitate when you pull the trigger. Rens, the heart of whole world is in danger. The heroic agent Rob Vinick has been kidnapped. Evil Kaiser Colton McIntyre is trying to destroy everything with missile of unprecedented destructive power. Okay. You, Agent Trance, and you alone must help us. We have incredible journey ahead. An industrial facility in Angmar, to the casinos of Orkuta, and finally, the reservoir. We must stop Colton McIntyre. We have to. Each of these men's tantrums brings us ever closer to all consuming atomic holocaust. Oh wow. 
you have any questions for me? Oh, uh, yeah, I was actually curious. Do we have any plans for getting Calvin back? I mean, I guess that's why I'm in this episode more, since there's no co-host, but, like, did anyone even tell you he had left? Because I was totally kept in the dark. I don't... I'm not familiar with his name. You know Calvin? Calvin McGuire. He's in the first six episodes. Him and Rob had that whole funny dynamic going. They're like Spyro and money bags. Agent Trance, you need to understand gravity of situation. The evil Kaiser Colton McIntyre wields ultimate state power. I used to work for him, and he is evil, wicked men. He shatters the very gates of heaven. I personally witnessed him once murdering a dog. What? Wait, Colton... Yes, Colton McIntyre. Colton McIntyre... Are you ready to gain revenge and stop nefarious death plot? Hey, Calvin, it, it's Rance from the show. Uh, listen, I know you and Rob are on kind of weird terms right now. Uh, I don't really know what happened, but um, things are getting strange over here. Uh, call me back when you can. I, I could really use your help. You're always so good with words. Bye. Uh oh! How embarrassing! You are too slow getting to the door. Try again, Agent Rance. Agent Rance, you need to be moving faster to get through the door before it closes. Yeah, it's fast though. Do you think this is one of those things where I'm supposed to miss it a few times? Like one of those game sequences where you're supposed to lose at first and then they can help you? There is no game sequences, Rance. This is real world industrial break in. Right. Gotcha. Uh. Uh-oh! How embarrassing! You are too slow getting to the door. Try again, Agent Rance. <sighs> Maybe try innovating. Thinking outside the box. Hmm. Yeah, I think you're right. Fuck! Uh oh! How embarrassing! You are too slow getting to the door. <sighs> Hold on, try I'm again, gonna try Agent something. Rance. Uh oh! How embarrassing! Uh oh! How embarrassing! Uh oh! How embarrassing! You are too slow getting to the door. Try again, Agent How embarrassing! You are too slow getting to the door. What the hell is this Try game? Again, Agent, Rance. Agent Rance, you are best government agent in whole Americas. Might you find a secret method to get through door more swiftly? It's too fast. I would almost need like two people. So I'm gonna press the button and then I just run through. That would be ideal. Yes? <sighs> well, I'll see if I can just run faster. Maybe I'll do sharper turns. <laughs> Hey, Calvin, it's uh, it's me again. I'm, I'm not sure if this number's still good. Uh, you had it listed under your dad's name as an emergency contact. Uh, just thought I'd try it out in case your cell phone wasn't working or something. Look, I... Uh, 
Sometimes I can't tell if Rob is legitimately excited about something, or he's a serial killer vetting me for a murder, and he's taken all that weird, creepy energy and infused it into this scavenger hunt game. I, I don't know. Uh, please, call me soon. This is Rance, by the way. Uh, my number is... I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Talk soon. Bye. Please, Mr. McIntyre, show mercy! It's Kaiser. Kaiser Colton McIntyre. Mr. Kaiser, I'm begging you. I have a wife and kids back home. I'm a veteran of Iraq. I served my country for eight years in Baghdad. Well, when you get to hell, tell BP Oil I say hello. Ah! Bang, bang, bang. I am the true Kaiser. All shall witness my absolute authority. Bring in prisoner. So, Agent Rolf, are you ready to discuss location of secret reservoir? Rat out my friends? Now that's a shootload of bull honk. Big American hero, Mr. James Rolf, saving planet by reviewing video computer game on internet. I ask of you one last time, plain English. Where is Reservoir? Agent Rance, we must not let McIntyre scare Agent Rolf into revealing location of secret Reservoir. Whole world depend on it. Why? What happens at the secret Reservoir? No time to explain. Take this! Holy fuck! What's it going to be, Rolf? Hmm. You know, when I was young, I realized I have a purpose on this earth. I'm not just some YouTube review guy. I'm here to look into the void and create meaning. To take viewers back to the past and play the crappy games that suck A-word. And that's why I never have to be afraid of guys like you, Kaiser. I'm part of something greater. The never-ending kingdom of gamers. No, Agent Trance! Oh shit. Okay. What in hell? For gaming! You, behind the table, prepare to die! <laughs> Agent Rance, you are only hope. This is ceremonial knife of Kaiser killing, passed down through generations of revolutionary. Use it, and world will be saved. Reveal to me secret location of reservoir, and I shall judge you favorably upon your crimes. What the? Is that the pool party? It's the knife. <sighs> Come out and play, foreign agents! Bang, bang, bang! Guys, what the hell is going on here? Rance! Snimivoa, Agent Rance. You know what? No, I'm done with this game. It's creepy and offensive, and it doesn't seem to actually have that much to do with Goldeneye. Agent Rance, you are mortally injured! Seek shelter! And where's Rob, anyway? Is he with you guys? This whole thing is in really bad taste, and I didn't even know we were filming stuff today. I was supposed to help my grandma move. Time to die now, soldier of Americas! How can all this possibly be any better than what Rob was doing with Calvin? That guy was Rob's best friend, and now the show is just some... LARPing thing? Guys? Agent Trance! Try to leverage ceremonial killing play to defeat You know what? No. Fuck you guys. I'm out. And Rob, wherever you are, shame on you. Oh my goodness. That's gotta be a cut, right? You murdered Agent Trance! What? <laughs> you will die today! 
<laughs> Margaret, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> Holy shit, Alex, call the ambulance. Oh my god, Margaret, are you okay? Leon. I did it. <laughs> Get, get out, get out, get out now. D damn it. Hello? Hi, Kate. Uh, my name's Rance. I work on Steel Town Gaming. Uh, yep, that, that was me. That was a while ago, though. Um, I could use your advice for dealing with Rob. Do you know how I can get him to call Calvin back? Rob's just been acting so weird, and I think he just needs to patch things up with his friend. What do you mean, patch things up? Oh, you know, they're high school buds. They've been together for years. Uh, I want to know what's going to mend that friendship. What are you talking about? Have you seen any episodes? All they do is argue. Yeah, but that's now. I mean, things have been a bit tense on the show, but way back in the day, they were best friends. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm here. Rance, I'm gonna send you a piece of footage that might clear things up. What's your email? So before I show you this video, can you tell us again, on camera, why Calvin left the show? What are you talking about? Just bear with me. Right, yeah, sure. What's up, Steelheads? It's me, Rob Winnick. My good friend Rance decided to wake me up from a spicy anime dream to show me some old videos from my past. Oh, and by the way, he wants me to remind you all at home that recently Calvin and I had a little bit of an explosive altercation at the pool party. He decided to leverage our decade-long friendship in order to not only sabotage the show, but betray you, the fans. We sincerely hope he's getting the mental help that he desperately needs. Is that good enough for you, Rance? You like that? You sick freak. All right, thank you for that. You're welcome. Why are you here? No. I'm not watching that. Please watch the video. All will be revealed. All will be revealed. What is? You got some crystal ball? You're going to tell me the future? Is that what you're going to do, Rance? Kate sent the video. Kate? Well, you're, you're talking to Kate now? Wait, wait, where was this enthusiasm like 12 hours ago, Rance? Like... The, and what, I don't get it. What's your end game here, Rance? What, are you going to show me some old videos of me and Calvin having some good old time back in the day? And then I'm going to be like, oh, I really need Calvin back. I miss Calvin so much. Why do I want my Calvin? What's the plan here, Rance? Just watch the video. Please. Rolling. Yo, this game is so dumb. It looks like someone shot 007 with a popsicle stick. Oh, oh, a popsicle stick. That's really funny. Hey, what do you play at home? You, you sit around playing PlayStation Home, you do a little rope dances while you play bowling with your no friends? Guys, relax. Just have fun with it. Hey, Rob, I play games, okay? I play Quake 2. You ever play Quake 2 for the PC? It's got these crazy lighting effects and particle explosions that are way better than this garbage. Calvin, it's an N64. What are you, dead? No, Rob, I'm not dead. I'm just saying that Quake 2 came out the same year as this, and it looks years ahead. Okay, well, the reason I ask is because my grandma plays Quake 2, and she's dead. 
Oh my god. All right, Rob, how would you describe the gameplay? Would you say it's a classic of the 64-bit era? I would say it's a game that dumb bitches like Calvin don't know anything about because it's multiplayer, which means you got to play with your friends. Hey, Rob, you are literally the dumbest human in Hamilton, okay? And that's including Barton Street where the dumb people are, okay? And Quake 2 is obviously multiplayer and online. You can play multiplayer in full screen. Oh my god, Cal... Who cares, Calvin? Like, and who are you playing with right now? A bunch of math nerds from Waterloo? You're playing with Chef Boyardee while you're eating ravioli straight from the can? You idiot. Oh my god. Guys, stop arguing. He's being a little bitch. What do you want me to do? Mikey, do I have to be in a video with this guy? You, yeah, you do. And you know why? I'm going to call your mom and I'm going to tell her, hey, your son, Calvin, he has the smallest penis in all of Hamilton. Guys, look at the screen. Look how choppy it is. It's basically a slideshow. Mikey, your mom is a slideshow, okay? You're dumb, you're a bitch, shut up. Fuck you. So you still use QuickTime, huh? No no VLC? We're not in the 21st century or anything? Rob! <laughs> Rants! What? What are you showing me this video for? I know you have some thoughts about what you just saw. Yeah, I look younger. There's less bags under my eyes. I, uh, I had weird looking hair at the time. <sighs> I've, I've done so much for this show. I love this show, man. But I, you know, I held off grad school. I shoveled snow off this very porch with, with a friggin' table for goodness sake. Okay, Rance, let me be very clear. Nobody asked you to do either of those things. I. Crystal clear, nobody asked you to do either of those things. Is this just gonna be the Rob Winnick Variety Hour? Because, you know, I'm okay either way, if it is or not. But, you know, you dragged Calvin along for six episodes, and you didn't give him any answer for any of this shit. And him storming off is not something I would call a tantrum. That's perfectly reasonable. You know what? It's like there's two James Rolfs fighting inside you, all right? They both look and sound pretty similar. They both talk about shit jokes and tampon jokes and all this crap. But one gets fake angry about Castlevania 2, and the other gets unreasonably, seriously angry about the female Ghostbusters reboot, okay? These two James Rolfs are going to keep fighting inside you, but the Rolf that wins is the Rolf you feed. <sighs> it's gonna take me back to the past. To put a shitty music circus. We grab that. Oh, Take a dive in the dump in the sea. Rants! Yeah. Get me Amy Lamontag, Arthur Mitchell, and that one really intense lady who always talked about Bitcoin. Why? Because we're gonna win Calvin back. Howard any of these things relate. Lance, we're just doing, we're doing a thing. What the